Hi, this is Allison Ellis of Floral Artistry in Jericho, Vermont. I'm working on a team of wedding professionals throughout the state of Vermont on a plan to safely reopen Vermont weddings. And I want to share some really important safety information and logistics with you today. First, I want to start with this wonderful graphic from Eamon Events. These are the four pillars to help celebrate safe. First is health and hygiene, of course. We're talking about hand washing and proper sanitation. Then service styles. Now, caterers already follow the serve safe guidelines, which keep guests really safe and keep your food safe and keep everybody healthy. So we're gonna continue those good practices, but other vendors will also step up and have new service styles that follow mandates and guidelines set forth by the state. Layout and flow is gonna be one of our really key elements here because we're going to make sure that while we've always followed a seating chart for dinner, we wanna make sure that we're keeping families together, keeping trusted households together, so that from ceremony through cocktails through reception, the flow of the event is clear and people aren't intermingling with families or guests that they may not feel comfortable with, so that everyone feels safe from guests to hosts to the vendors themselves. And then finally, social distancing. That will be our biggest change, of course, because we have always been safe with our service and we've always had some flow to the day, right? But the social distancing is the new part for us. And so those are the guidelines that we want to make sure that we're really clear about so that everyone has fun and also feels safe. So what do attendees need to know? First, we want to be smart and celebrate safe. That means following the state of Vermont's guidelines and mandates. So this means cleanliness and sanitation, social distancing, following signage, and wearing masks where required. You wanna familiarize yourself with the symptoms and understand the risks of COVID-19, and please do not attend a wedding or event if you are sick. What does a safe celebration actually look like? First, we'll start with the ceremony layout. You're going to practice social distancing. You're going to seat families together and trusted households together at the ceremony and reception. You're going to have six foot distancing between the officiant and the couple, between the couple and the guests. And we're going to have some empty chairs and spacing so that we can abide by the social distancing guidelines. For your cocktail reception, there'll be a bit more space between the tables. We'll have some signage to communicate to people that once they pick a table, maybe they want to stay there so there's not quite as much mingling. we got to keep the flow in mind to minimize contact with other guests. And then the dinner reception, same concept. We want to keep some distance between the tables. We want to seat people by family or by trusted households and make sure that everyone feels that they understand the flow and where they belong so that they know that they're following the social distancing guidelines that you set forth for your event. What do wedding vendors need to know? First, you have to complete the mandatory VOSHA training via the Vermont Department of Labor. You can find that right on their website at labor.vermont.gov. You gotta follow the state of Vermont's guidelines and mandates, of course, while working. And this again regards cleanliness, social distancing, signage, and wearing a mask where required. Familiarize yourself with the symptoms and understand the risks of COVID-19. Do not go to work if you're sick and you must assign one employee to be trained to follow state guidelines and oversee company operations as the safety coordinator. So if you are a solopreneur, that is you. What is a safety coordinator? The safety coordinator should have the following functions. First, to effectively communicate with all vendors and the client to implement safety guidelines. You're going to adjust guidelines to meet current state and federal safety and health regulations as these things are changing rapidly and conduct safety meetings prior to commencing event setup, 
to review hazards and infection control measures and conduct company employees screening prior to stepping on site. Here's an example of what a check-in area might look like where a safety coordinator can communicate with guests and vendors as to how the day will work, what the flow is, what's expected. So what do hosts, meaning landowners and venues, need to know? As always, follow the State of Vermont's guidelines and mandates while hosting an event. Familiarize yourself with the symptoms and understand the risks of COVID-19. Provide a safety coordinator to monitor and check in guests. Provide signage for hygiene and social distancing requirements. Keep lists of all event attendees, including guests and vendors, on file for 30 days. This is following the current lodging guidelines to keep a, a log of all the attendees for 30 days. And do not attend a wedding or event if you are sick. Also, you must communicate the safety plan to attendees. And the question on everybody's mind is, what do guests need to know? So here's an example of how you can keep your guests informed with some safety announcement cards. These are made up by Krista Alexandra Designs, and they're just a really beautiful example of how you can incorporate a safety message into your invitation suite and information you're sending out to your guests. So for example, your safety information can sound something like this. We look forward to having you join us in celebrating our wedding. We wanna provide peace of mind that we plan to celebrate the safe way, meaning we will be adhering to state safety guidelines for gatherings. We have a great team to help create an atmosphere of joy and celebration while keeping our guests safe with some new noticeable adjustments. You can find more details on our website and then direct people right to the couple's website. This is my favorite part because it's really important for people to feel empowered to choose to do the right thing. Even though we would love to have everyone with us, if you feel uncomfortable attending for any reason, we completely understand. Therefore, kindly keep us updated on your decision. Guests need to know that they have to follow the state of Vermont's guidelines and mandates while celebrating. They need to familiarize themselves and understand the risks of COVID-19. Please do not attend a wedding or event if you're sick. Check in with the safety coordinator and follow signage for seating and flow. And finally, Vermont wedding and event professionals look forward to working with you and serving you soon. The Vermont wedding industry is working together to create a new normal. Let's be smart and celebrate safe.